Welcome to Maritime YouTube University. This video will provide you steps on how to solve gyro error using ABC method. We need to have azimuth circle, nautical almanac, timer or stopwatch, and scientific calculator. Step 1. Take the bearing of the sun using the azimuth circle. Remember, in taking the bearing, the bubble on the azimuth circle must stay on the center in order to have an accurate, almost accurate bearing. On board ship, it is quite challenging to make it stay on the center due to the external forces like the free motion of the ship. Try to look on the picture. Notice the part of the azimuth circle encircled with yellow. That is the bubble. That is called spirit level. There are two spirit level in an azimuth circle. They are used to level the instrument. For you to have an accurate, or nearly accurate bearing, you must learn how to balance properly the gyro compass, together with the azimuth circle. Once the bubble stays on the center, take immediately the bearing of the sun, and at the same time, press your timer. After taking the bearing of the sun, and while the timer is running, go immediately to an equipment in the bridge, where UTC time is available. Write down the UTC time, then, stop the timer. Once the timer is stopped, record the number of minutes, or seconds, displayed on your timer. Please take note the following data that we had gathered. Step 2. Subtract UTC time to the time displayed on the timer. This is the UTC time taken right after we took the bearing of the sun. While this 50 seconds, this is the number of seconds displayed on the timer, right after we stopped it. We have to subtract 08 hours, 31 minutes, and 36 seconds, by 50 seconds, in order to get the exact time, we took the bearing of the sun. In this case, 08 hours, 31 minutes, and 36 seconds, minus 50 seconds, the answer is 08 hours, 30 minutes, 46 seconds. This 08 hours, 30 minutes, and 46 seconds, is the exact time that we took the bearing of the sun. This is the time that we will use in our calculation, later. Step 3. Open the Nautical Almanac 2014 edition, and, on the daily pages, find July 6, 2014. This is the Nautical Almanac. The right page of this almanac is called Daily Page. Daily Page is a page with three-day celestial data for planets, stars, sun, Aries, and moon. In order to find the date, you have to look it on the upper portion of the page. After finding the date, on the same page, look for the column labeled UT. Under the column UT, and within the date July 6, find 08 hours. 08 hours is taken from the exact time we took the bearing of the sun, which is 08 hours, 30 minutes, and 46 seconds. On the right side, in line with 08 hours, within the box labeled sun, under the column GHA and declination, copy the given value. This is the value for the GHA of the sun. While this is for the declination. Step 4. Go to the increment and correction table, and look for the increment value of 30 minutes and 46 seconds. This is the increment and correction table. Increment and correction table is found on the back pages of the Nautical Almanac. You can easily locate this table, because the pages are colored in yellow. In this page, we are going to find the increment value of 30 minutes and 46 seconds. Again, 30 minutes and 46 seconds is taken from the exact time we took the bearing of the sun, which is 08 hours, 30 minutes and 46 seconds. On the upper corners of the page is the number of minutes. 
In this example, 30 minutes, is located on the upper left corner of the page. Within this column are the number of seconds. Here is, the 46 seconds. On the right of 46 seconds, is the Sun and Planet column. Under the Sun and Planet column, and in line with 46 seconds, copy the given value, which is 7 degrees and 41.5 minutes. This, 7 degrees and 41.5 minutes, is the increment value of 30 minutes and 46 seconds. Step 5. Solve for the true GHA. GHA of the Sun, plus, the increments of 30 minutes, and 46 seconds, equals, true GHA of the Sun. This is the value of our GHA, 298 degrees, 48.9 minutes, while this is the increment value, 7 degrees, 41.5 minutes. 298 degrees, 48.9 minutes, plus, 7 degrees, 41.5 minutes, the answer is, 306 degrees, and 30.4 minutes. Therefore, our true GHA is 306 degrees, and 30.4 minutes. Step 6. Solve for the true declination. Declination, minus, correction value, equals, true declination. The value of our declination is, north 22 degrees, and, 40.7 minutes. The correction value is, 0 0.2 minutes. Where did 0 0.2 come from? Let's go back to the daily page of the Nautical Almanac. If you remember, this is the daily page showing July 6, 2014. On the lower part of the page, you can see this D with a value of 0 0.3. On the increment and correction table, within the box of 30 minutes, and under the D and V correction, find the D value which is 0 0.3. Here is 0 0.3. Beside it, is the column for its corresponding correction value. In this example, the correction value for 0 0.3 is 0 0.2. Hence, in our calculation in getting the true declination, we use 0 0.2 for the correction value north 22 degrees, and 40.7 minutes, minus, 0 0.2. The answer is, north 22 degrees, and 40.5 minutes. Please take note, I use subtraction, because the declination is in decreasing order. If the order of declination is increasing, use addition.